This is Code.org, and we're going to create an image filter. Guys, keep in mind, whichever one you choose, the concepts are going to be the same or similar. It's going to involve iterating over an image using a 2D array, and most likely editing or changing a color. That being said, negative image for me. All right, a negative image is created by inverting the colors, so light areas appear dark, and the dark areas appear light. The colors are also reversed with red areas, areas appearing cyan, green appearing magenta, and blues appearing yellow, vice versa. Negative images created by subtracting the current red, green, blue color values from 255. So first we need to import image plus. If we don't have it, you can copy it from there, but I do image plus and import. cool. Now in negative image.java, write the method make image to invert the colors of the image. Negative image, let's see, there we are. Okay, so first things first, I know I need to loop through the colors of the image. I also know I need the image. So let me see here, image plus, this is going to be private. So I'm not going to be able to access it directly. Let me see how they're handling. So it looks like the way to do this is since we're not going to access it directly, we do have a get image get pixels function, and that's actually what we need regardless. So I'm going to do up here. Let's see. Uh, yeah, we can even name it. We can stick with their naming convention here. So the two D array pixels is equal to get pixels and what that's ex going to execute on is actually image plus ex is extended image plus extends image and so the reason we're going to be able to do this was actually the extension of image plus we can just run get pixels within our current class and it goes there's no get pixels in here oh it must be an image plus and grabs the information from there okay with that created we need to do our for loop now it's a nested for loop and I'm going to just look, we have a bazillion examples of this. So rather than just typing it out, we can go through all of these, right? Notice it iterates through an image. So I'm honestly, I'm just going to go copy, bam, and go over here and paste. You do want to be very familiar for this. I'll get rid of this for now. Um, actually current pixel will be useful. So keep in mind what are we doing? We're iterating through the row and the column of the 2D array. The 2D array is pixels of color. So an image is created by, well, pixels, and each row has however many little dots in it. Um, all of those dots are within a column. So we say, and this is the 2D array, we say grab the first row of the array, and then once you're in that row, drop below, grab the first item, the first column, grab that, and we assign that to, hey, pixels row dot current column, or current column, it's going to be equal to this pixel, and then we modify that pixel accordingly. So for loop, pretty basic here. We loop through every pixel. Uh, we loop. Uh, we set the row length. Rows must be less. Wow, than the length of our two D array because that's how many rows are contained. We go up by one each time, and then column must be less than the length of row zero. I like putting row here. Row zero is fine, but if it's a jagged array or something like that, I like getting the actual length of the row that we are on. Okay, and now we need to change up the colors. Set green, red, and blue. And we do that by subtracting the current values from 255. So what I might do then is... Since I know this is gonna be an int, I might use int new red, or maybe just red. Yeah, let's just do red. And then I'm going to do 255 minus, and I need to use the current pixel dot. Now, how do I know what to use? I'm heading over to documentation to double check, and I don't actually need an image because what's this say? I know I want pixels. So code.org pixel. Let me make sure. Uh, do I want to get a color? Ooh, look, I can get red directly, and that's what I need because I need the current color and I need to subtract it from 255. I'm going to hammer this out now for blue and green real quick. Bam. And now all we would need to do is set the colors. So I'm going to do it like this. Now, is this the only way to do this? No, certainly you could do uh, current pixel, set green, set blue, so on and so forth. Do it how you're comfortable with. I'm going to give this way the color. This is correct. But the nice thing about code is there is more than one 
correct? Answer, 100% correct. You can also set these individually. Current pixels set red to the red value, so on and so forth. Um, you don't actually even need these variables. I like them as is, but that should be good. All right, let me just see if this compiles or if I already have an error. And I already have an error. What did I do? Set color. Let's see. Oh, of course. So actually, to do it this way, I need a, I'm going to create a new color inside of here with my values. Boop, boop, boop. And that should do it. There we go. That looks good so far. Okay, and now let me go to... Okay, draw the image without any th filters. And we've done this a bunch. So I need to instantiate my image object. So negative image, neg image. And then I'm going to need to pass it a file name, I believe. Yep. Okay, so let me see manage assets. I am going to pick, guess what? The dog. Hello, dog, dog. Okay. Uh, and now we just need to draw it as is. And we have a scene object up here. Draw image. And guys, hey, Mr. Geyser, how do you draw something in a scene? Documentation, code.org, scene. All right, so all of this is available to you. If you think I memorize all of this instantly, uh, that's a lie. I don't. It's too much to memorize. They give you the documentation too, because that's how developers work. Programmers in the real world are constantly, I know, grown reading and building cool things and, you know, changing the world and whatever. Um, I like to do get width for a scene. I've seen students commonly do, you know, like 450 to get it across the screen. That's correct. I like this method more. It is, well, technically better, honestly. And then I'm going to go ahead and pause it because we're going to have something after this. Ah, uh, we'll just throw in a second. Let's see if this does anything. Mm. Ah, hello, dog. All right, now we got to make our dog negative or whatever image you chose, but I'm kind of partial to the dog. I don't know if you picked up on that. It's pretty subtle. We get negative, and then I'm just going to basically copy and paste this. <gasps> Ooh, that's actually terrifying. Hmm, so something actually looks off here. That's too much green. Let me... <gasps> Red, green, blue, and code, guys. Whoopsies, got to mix that up. This would have been avoided by the other way I suggested. Current pixel dot, you know, set red, set blue, set green. And then you wouldn't need this at all if you did it individually. Regardless, I like how I did it. That should clear things up. <laughs> cool. And I can even test, I think they showed me right there. So let's do that real quick. Perfection. And before I forget, that's looking awesome. We need to go ahead and commit this to a backpack. Commit code, negative, negative, raj. Commit. Awesome. Ta-da! On work.